some people, even if they're eating not a ton of salt, their body will retain it. And the thought is because of the adrenals being very taxed, they'll kind of hold on to these salt. So how does that relate to this? Does it relate to it? Um, it does. Uh, and you're very correct. Uh, because many times people who come to me with a chronic fatigue syndrome, which is also an adrenal issue, if you're just taking as much sodium as your body actually needs. And so we have to sort of distinguish. So if I have a migraine, because I just ate a slice of cake, I didn't need sodium. I had to take it because I just kicked myself out of balance. Mm -hmm. And so all that um, extra water and extra sodium that I had in my cells before the glucose from the cake kicked it out, went into edema. So edema is a storage place for the body to, to retain water. So when you're talking about your, your patients getting problem, they're retaining it because they're taking the cell in the wrong way. And they're not balancing it properly with potassium. And if you have a high adrenaline to start with, um, and you can't take so much sodium because it's just going to increase it, it will increase it only if you're just taking sodium. But as long as you're taking it in balance with potassium, it won't. So you have to look at what am I eating? And if I'm eating that, what does it do to my body? If you have a, a health issue, you have to modify what you eat. You can't eat the same way as other people who don't have that health condition, particularly if the health condition is sensitive to nutrients, and most are. You know, because I get, I get asked that a lot on a low carb ketogenic carnivore diet, how much sodium am I supposed to be consuming? That's enough. Okay. So I, I don't go by the salt to taste. Many people, particularly migraines for some, oh, yeah, yeah, that's they true. hate salt. So, so we're not going to, because we have, we have super, many of us are super tasters. I'm super taster. So uh, I will not even salt my food. So I'll take my salt in a pill that may just mislead you. And some people may just like salt too much yes. uh, and then they eat too much. So that's not a good measure. But so the people without migraines, there are a couple of studies, um, one in the British Medical Journal, one in the Lancet, where they discover uh, one of them goes through the NHANES, which is a huge database, and two others. One was, uh, I think, after the clinical trial or some sort of experiment, and the other one was another database analysis. And they uh, have come up with the ideal number for a person who does not have migraines. So just a general population. And within the population, they had two groups, once with heart disease and once without. So it's a, it was a good study. And I think this was a British Medical Journal. And what they discovered was is that the ideal sodium uh, starts at 4,500 milligrams. That the USDA uh, is currently 2,300 milligrams. So what they showed is that if you go below 4,500, your risk of heart disease actually increases. And oh. I can explain what, why that is happening. And they showed that if you get down to, I think it was 1,200 milligrams of sodium, you actually will die. It's just that, that bed. <laughs> it just came to that level of risk. So a curve was sort of like, you die here, and then you come down, this is ideal. And then it was like a very, very, very long tail. It went all the way to 12,000 milligrams of sodium. Wow. Where to that point, nothing happened to those who were healthy individuals. 4,500 to 6,500 was the ideal. This is where the curve hit the bottom to be the ideal. And uh, some people went lower, meaning that they actually increased their livelihood. They increased their life and health by increasing sodium up to 1,200, 12,000 wow. milligrams sodium. Yes. Um, and for those who were cardiovascularly compromised, uh, it seemed the, the 3,500 to, to 4,000 milligrams sodium was the ideal for them as well. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.